Hello, I'm Mark, and this is In the Round. Probably the biggest challenge in working with clay is that when wet, it doesn't support its own weight. Ceramists deal with the ongoing fight against gravity in many, many different ways. But today I want to talk about one of my favorite, less commonly used methods, trapped air. Here I have a little pinch bowl, and here a closed form of the same weight. Note the difference. The principle here is self-evident. It's a clay balloon. The interior pressure supports the wall. It's a simple, yet remarkably useful method for building small to medium-sized clay forms. It allows for much safer building and handling, and permits more dramatic angles and proportions. You can even create complex forms using multiple trapped air chambers, building and assembling them in a cellular fashion. Once the clay has stiffened up enough to become structural, you can open the cells up or just perforate the chamber walls for safe firing. This principle can be useful when working on the wheel too, as with closed forms, or as a way to save collapsing vessels. Say you have a freshly thrown, thin-walled pot, maybe a little uneven or off-center because you're new to the wheel, it's in danger of collapsing. You can try tapping down a moist piece of paper over the mouth, trapping the interior atmosphere, then shaping from the exterior against that interior pressure. If you have a narrow-mouthed vase, you can even inflate it before closing it off with paper or even a little pad of clay. Then, once the pot's stiffened up, you can just pull the paper or clay off. 